uh, we can show you a demonstration of what happens to the foot structure with this. With your with your uh, cool device yeah, here. Yeah, we have. All right, you want to step up for it? Let me help you here, Wendy, and put that foot right here. So this I won't is, let you fall. This is a mm -hmm. fluor scan. It's a real-time radiography system by Holistic. And what we can do is actually take a image of the foot. Now what you see is Wendy's foot is in a neutral flat position mm -hmm. and the fat pad is sitting underneath the metatarsals and the ligament sits here on the base of the foot. So you can see again the foot is in the natural position and as we move the foot into the heel you can see the shorten and then the foot goes back down. That, show, that really shows it. Isn't that amazing? And yep. you can see look at these two bones here. They shift out of position and on the bottom is now the fat pad. So as she comes back down, these bones come into a natural, natural position. If we put her back into a high heeled shoe right there, these bones shift back. They're called sesamoids, and they're out of position, and the fat pad is taken away. So the patient is literally walking on the head of those bones. In fact, let's get her in a heel and see exactly what happens when she's wearing them. OK. Here's her high heel. This let's is like Cinderella. Let's put let's... that on Cinderella. And so here's the image, real time, of Wendy's foot in a high-heeled shoe. And the problem with this is that professional women have to wear these shoes. This is part of their day-to-day -day operations. So over a period of time, as they wear this shoe, the heel bone kicks up and this plantar fascia shortens. I have a demonstration here. Here, you can help me with this. Okay. So here's the Achilles tendon okay. pulling up on the heel, and this is the foot on a neutral position. So as you see, as the patient starts to wear a high-heeled shoe, the plantar fascia starts to get short. And this shortening effect, after a period of time, has a problem. When the patient steps down, ouch, right here on the fascia is where all the pain is. Now, Dr. Sidray, we're, we're wearing the vest, but with this type of device, normally you, this is not an issue no, with, we're, with, with radiation. No, we're doing this just for extra safety. The radiation that scatters from this machine is very small field, so we don't actually wear these in surgery when we have to do surgery. And treatment-wise, we have, we have a number of options depending on how severe a case it is, correct? There and, are, yeah. I mean, it can start with something as simple as icing after you've been wearing your shoes, changing your shoes, orthotics. Exactly. You can take a bottle of water, freeze it, and roll that under the fascia, and that'll stretch the fascia. They feel orthotics, pretty good. They feels very good. Um, orthotics help because they prevent the fascia from getting tight, mm -hmm. so it'll keep it stretched and in good position. And ultimately, you can lead up to things like getting injections for the fasciitis. Which I had to do when I had they plantar fasciitis, and it worked. Yeah, they do work, actually. If you get them promptly enough, early enough, it actually mm. helps a lot. You know, the end stage, unfortunately, is surgery, so you really want to see your doctor before. Women can prevent this by simple treatments like stretching. You know, the demo we showed mm -hmm. shows the fascia getting short. So a little so, physical therapy. Exactly, or stretching at the gym. Make sure you stretch that foot so the fascia is stretching so that if you're in heels all day, at least you're compensating. All right, well, thank you both. Dr. Thanks. Sadre, as always, you are the foot guru. Thanks for coming, Wendy.